Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna Maria. I'm very happy to see you here. And today I decided to make a video about a few places where I've been to because I decided that I've been to so many places in Ireland, but I haven't visited many small towns, many villages. So I thought that, oh, let me have a look around. Let me see how's the atmosphere, how it feels. And maybe I would find something that I really like. Maybe even I would love to move somewhere. Why not? So I decided to visit a few places and one of the places that I visited was my north and my north is a lovely town it is located near Dublin not really near Dublin you need to drive there but there is a motorway so you can drive to my north and it was about half an hour 40 minutes to drive from Dublin to my north of course it depends where in Dublin you're based but it took me about 40 minutes to drive there it was actually a very quick drive and this town is called commuter to Dublin because many people do rent in my north because rents of course are much cheaper than in Dublin and then they just commute to work to Dublin you know and I think it's very okay because you have a drive yes it takes about half an hour 40 minutes to drive but you can listen probably to a podcast or listen to music and this time actually goes really really quick and really fast especially if you're coming from some huge big 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 cities like for example from Brazil people tell me that uh, when they come from Brazil they find Ireland very very tiny and very small and like half an hour or 40 minutes commute time does not mean anything to them you know it's very close so yeah and um, lovely town and honestly I was actually surprised to see that the town is so Mm, I can't say busy, but it's so full with life. There was some music and I've seen some restaurants being open. It was a Tuesday, it was a Tuesday at about 7, 8 o'clock and some restaurants were actually open. Of course, loads of businesses were closed, but it was nice to see that people were dining out, enjoying life. I suppose that Maynooth is that busy just because of the Maynooth University. And it's actually probably pretty cool that there are so many young people and I'm sure that those who live in there can easily make friends with others, with people of different generations and that is actually pretty cool and I was honestly honestly surprised to see that that city is actually full with life. It is great to see this little maps here where you can find a few nice locations to visit definitely something to check out The town is actually pretty small as well, so you can walk around and you can see the whole town. And it has a lovely park as well, so yeah, small, lovely, interesting, cool place. So here is my north, so this green part. It's a lovely and very small little town and to be honest they seem to be having a little bit of a problem with traffic. Um, it does not seem to be really well organized unfortunately and plenty of, plenty of traffic in the town. So this is something you have to be ready for but in general everything seems to be lovely. A lot of history in here as well and yeah nice lovely little place so i'm right here in carton avenue so it seems to be very nice i can say that i still find it too quiet for myself i like big cities i always live in capital cities so i love li living in dublin because it's bigger things are happening around me i can easily go to more places but if you are still looking for a place to move to my north is actually a cool place and my north university might be of interest to you as well also i went to carlo carlo is about one hour drive from dublin 
and I would not call it a commuter to Dublin. I suppose that if people live in Carlow, they have to find jobs in Carlow or maybe somewhere around, maybe in Kilkenny, for example, you know, because Carlow has pretty affordable prices for renting. And in my e-guide, the second edition, I put the average prices for renting for all the places in Ireland, where you can, will be able to see how much it costs on average to rent in Carlow or how much it costs to rent in Maynooth or in a certain place in Dublin. I went to Carlo and Carlo is much quieter than my Noof. It's a very quiet, leveled city. I did not see so many people, you know, it was lovely. It was very, very small. Honestly, it felt like very tiny. It felt even smaller than my Noof. There is the Carlo Institute of Technology as well. If somebody wants to study, they can study in there. And yeah, it's much quieter. It's much more level down than uh, my note. And I was walking around Carlo, you know, and I kept coming to the same place, to the same street, to the same place, because Carlo is so tiny, especially the central part of Carlo is so small and tiny that you can walk around and you still come to the central street. Walk around and still come to that central street. You know, I was looking, I was like, oh, I was just there. Oh, I just been there. I just been there a few minutes ago, you know, so it's that small. There is a lovely small park as well uh, where people seem to be walking, but the park was actually tiny, you know, like very, very, very small. I was expecting it to be a bit bigger. the house prices like for example this house yes uh, in Carlo is 219,000 euro but don't forget that there are additional prices when you buy a house yes you need to pay for additional uh, checks for people who are helping you with that so this is not the final price the final price is gonna be much higher so this is a house now look at this a house which costs over 1 million euro oh look at this yeah would you buy such a house okay now something here 250 thousand something more basic 150 thousand mm -hmm. okay wow the price is amazing Look at this, only 100,000 euro. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this, this house costs some good money, like very affordable, I can say, for Ireland. Two to, to 5,000. Carlo, yeah. No, what can I say? This is probably more affordable than anything else. If you want to buy just like a lot like if you want to buy some land that's 50,000 so yeah so I suppose this is a place where the locals do kind of party <laughs> yeah so finally a bit more life in Carlo because everything was so quiet so finally I can see a bit more people a bit more life I suppose this is their center I don't know maybe so yeah no, what can I say? Very, very chill and balanced. Loads of old buildings. 
So this is the Carlo Castle and it's from the 13th century. Looks very nice, most likely there is no way to get up there, but looks impressive. Carlo is great if you want to live a very leveled life, maybe if you have family. Uh, I suppose that should be okay, I think. Um, so yeah, a lovely quiet place, but I found my not much more interesting and a bit a bit busier, you know, and there was a lot, a lot of history in my Nuth as well. Carlo had a few lovely places, but I found a bit more history in my Nuth. Again, this is my personal opinion. I did not live in those places. I totally understand when, that when people live there, they see those places differently than me. I just came, I just had a walk around, I just tried to understand how I feel about those places. And this is what I'm telling you in this video. But if you live in Carlo or if you live in Maynooth and you have maybe to add something or if you have a different point of view, you can always leave a, a comment because I'm sure that those guys who are watching this video are very, very curious to know more about these towns from a local point of view view because again I'm simply going there to travel I am not living in there and I understand that you might have a different view a different feeling towards those places cool guys thanks a lot for watching this video let me know if there are any other places you would like me to visit in Ireland I'd be very happy to go around and see some places that I haven't been to before because I don't know I am so enthusiastic to go to new places I've already been to all the big castles big places like Cliffs of Maher, Galway, uh, Cork uh, but now I am interested to see what else is there how does a simple life look like in Ireland Thanks a lot for watching this video, I'm waiting for your comments and make sure to give it a like, to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.